Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome back as we continue to write the remove item function for our hash table project. So in the last video we just finished case one. So case one was the case where the very first item in the bucket we're looking into has a matching name and also that's the only item contained in the bucket. So case two is similar to case one. We also have a match located in the very first item in the bucket, but the difference between case two and case one is case two, the bucket contains additional items where case one only contained one single item. So to take care of case two, all we really need to do at this point is just say else if, and then we're just going to copy this first condition right here. So we'll go ahead and copy this and we'll paste it here. And the reason why this works is we've already checked this condition. So if this condition becomes false, but this condition is true right here, that means that there is just more than one item in the bucket that we're looking into, but it still does have a matching name. So we can just go ahead and put that first condition here because we've already checked for the second condition in this statement. So to go ahead and write some code for that, we'll just go ahead and set our deletion pointer to the very first item in the hash table bucket that we're looking into. So we just say del ptr equals hash table index. So now we have our deletion pointer pointing to that very first item inside of the bucket we're looking to. And that would be the item with the matching name. And then what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the very first item referenced by the bucket we're looking into actually points to the very next item since we're about to delete this first item. So the way we do that is we say hash table and index which index holds the bucket we're looking into. And then we just make this point to the next item in the list by saying equals hash table index. And we just want it to point to the next item in the list. So we'll just go ahead and say arrow next. And so now when we type hash table index, we're referring to that very next item. And so what used to be the second item in the list inside that bucket is now the very first item. And we have that referenced by hash table index now. So this now points to the new first item in the list. So let's go ahead and go down to the next line. And so the next line, we're just going to go ahead and delete the item that is being pointed to by the delete pointer. And so we'll just say delete del ptr and then we'll go ahead and print a message to the screen that lets the user know that the name that they were trying to remove will say was removed from the hash table. And then we'll go ahead and put a new line here as well. And I suppose we should probably go ahead and copy this right here and we'll go ahead and include it in case one because we'll also want to let the user know that we have removed the item in that case as well. So that should take care of it there. So now we have covered case two, where the match is located in the very first item inside of that bucket, but there are also additional items in the bucket as well. So we've taken care of that case. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and start coding case three, where the bucket contains items, but the first item is not a match. Stay tuned for case three in the next video. We'll see you guys then and have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.